What is up guys? Welcome to another ice fishing episode. Today is has been a trip that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time. It's a bucket list fish of mine, catching a lake trout through the ice. And on this particular body of water, there is some absolute, absolute giants. I'm with, I'm with Colin today and Andrew, the trout whisperers. Colin has caught oh, some know. freaks lake trout fishing, so that's what's happening today. We just found found the found the juice spot, marking fish right now, and uh, just gonna set up some autos, get the shack up. It's kind of cold and windy today, but we'll start jigging here shortly. And um, I'm rather pumped. This is gonna be absolutely awesome if we can hook up with one. All right, folks, um, obviously this is something I've never really done before, but I'm setting up an auto. Got a big extra large shiner, number size eight hook. Got a 12 pound fluorocarbon lead up to a little swivel and a half ounce egg sinker because we are sending this shiner to about, we're, <laughs> I'm sitting in like 110 feet of water sending the shiner down to about 80, about 40 feet off the bottom. The biggest thing that Colin said is that these fish just roam. These fish are roamers and they can see a bait really, really far away. So it is really, really quite interesting. This is just so different from anything that I do, that I fish for. So got the shack all set up. Now I'm just setting up my, my auto lines and whew, hopefully We'll be hooked up soon. Oh man. <laughs> Guys, Callan's got a little present for us. Big trout. This is a big trout secret bait, huh? Oh yeah. We don't even tell what that is. We don't even tell what that is. Saved for a day just like today. <laughs> big stinky dead bait for pretty giant trout. Got our fresh little dead bait here. Yeah, show that quick set or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, and I just Hook one there. I got this slides up so I can move it kind of wherever. I'll put one, bury that one in there like that. And good to go. Good to go. We'll send her down. <laughs> See if, might have to pop the bladder too. Sometimes they float. Yep. So this is a 10 inch hole and that is a 10 inch bait. <laughs> right. More than 10 inches. So yeah, that's the program with today. We got some autos with some live jumbo shiners and then some giant dead bait that will lay, we'll lay one on the bottom and then one hanging a little high. These trout, they're roamers, they're big, they'll eat basically anything. They're, it's like one species that you just, you just never know what they're gonna do. So we're pretty well set up here. So we'll uh, get back in the shack here and start jigging. Coming up to it. No way. There's a fish coming up to oh it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Is he going to eat it? <gasps> That's a down. trout, dude. That's a freaking down. trout. For sure. Oh my gosh. I was just about to say, dude. watch me cut the line and then a mark will come Right. Up. We got a fray in the line that Colin <laughs> is messing with. And I don't know if you guys can see this, but this trout shot right up to it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So the bait's only in, what is that? 40 feet? Yeah, 45. 45 feet, feet, and we're sitting in 100 feet. This is crazy. Wow, okay. Let's get these splice together yeah, real dude. quick. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be working with a lot of line here if that's, that's, wow, that is so funny. Yeah, the first looker, that didn't take yeah, long no, at all. No, not long at all on the big dead bait. Oh, big mark coming up. Coming, coming up, up, coming up, coming up. Flying up to it. No oh way. my gosh, dude. It. Oh my gosh. It's, it's going to eat it? It's going to eat it. Did she eat it? I'm pulling it up. I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's it's so fast. Oh, oh. He's got it. It bumped it. it I mean, that's a giant bait. Oh my oh. gosh, guys. This is absolutely amazing. I've never jigged a bait. Never jigged a dead bait. I, I wonder why. I wonder why. Dude, that is freaking it wild. so fast, dude. It had it. Did you right. see Yeah, it just like, dunked. Boom. It had some part of the bait. Right. Well, I think that bait's gonna get eaten today. Okay, so I think we're on the right spot today. <laughs> More dead bait on the menu. Yeah. Well, guys, I'm just getting into the shack. You're gonna start jigging. Fortunately, that fish that was chasing the dead bait did not bite. Well, it bumped the bait, but did not eat it. Did not fully commit, so 
Just rigging up a rod here. Today I'm using a 35 inch medium by Automatic Fisherman. Got the nice little grips on there for jigging. Get a little fluorocarbon leader on and start jigging a spoon. Guys, just giving you an update. Just had this auto pop and I'm dropping the new shiner down and there is trout down there. So I'm gonna go with this did get bit, just did not connect with the hooks. Oh, it's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. It's gonna hit it. It's on it. Oh my gosh, this is this trout just came up. Is it gonna eat it though? Um, there's lake trout coming up to my shiner. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. If you've never targeted lake trout, they are just a whole different breed of fish. I never knew how cool these things were until Colin and Andrew kind of just showed me the ropes or rope showing me the ropes here. Well, hopefully we can hook up today. Well guys, just giving you the little midday update. We've had action actually. Um, Colin got bit when I wasn't in the shack. Andrew, Colin, what happened in there? What happened? Hey. Sad times. <laughs> sad story. Sad story. It got a little wild in the shack though. Right. <laughs> Two fish chasing, we had one come up and chase and went away and like five minutes later another one came up and followed my bait probably 40 feet up, hit it, <laughs> set the hook, had connection for a split second and gone. And gone. Gone. Tragedy. Are they still coming? Oh. Did you just miss one? Dude, I just had Dude. It ate a giant bait too. Here, Andrew and I are fishing little small tubes and stuff, but it did crush a big tube. Um, I was out at some other holes uh, jigging, but um, yeah, marking fish. The fish are around. It's just a matter of when are they going to bite. And I think they're going to bite soon because we got some cooking going on. We're at Colin's kitchen right now, as dialed as you can be, cutting up some brats. Oh, yeah. Wild. We sausages, we got eggs. Crazy. Fire them up. Fire them up. Will be <laughs> right, right. We'll be, we'll be all good. So that's what's happening right now. Hopefully, uh, they'll start biting. Wow, so dialed. Don't have a plate, so we're just gonna have to get in there. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. I'm good with it. Put set the rod over here, yeah. and uh, we're we're eating. We are eating right now. No. Jalapeno. What are they? Cheddar brats oh, yeah. and awesome. scrambled eggs. Oh. I don't think it gets any better, guys. This well, thing. guys, we are absolutely dialed at the moment. Just need a lake trout. One of these rods have to go off soon. Comfort wise, you can't get much better. No, than this. it's warm. We have hot food, trolios, gummy bears. Yeah, everything. We're good. We're so dialed. Well, guys, just got done with lunch. No bites yet. So, going back out into the elements, out of the shack. Gonna go hop around. Switched up baits. I am using a six inch tube, the same size tube that Colin just got bit on couple hours ago but this is Colin's money tube there's so many teeth marks on it and um, yeah so that's what's happening right now going big or going home I don't know I'm feeling good I'm feeling good got some food in the stomach now it's just time for a big big trout Well guys, sorry for such an uneventful day, but you know, this is the name of, of the game with lake trout fishing, uh, especially ice fishing. It's a lot like muskies. It's it's so crazy how these fish are basically the same species as, uh, as, as muskies when it comes to ice fishing. They follow like muskies. They bite at weird times like muskies. They don't, like, they bite weird baits. They'll basically bite anything you throw down there at certain times their feeding windows are super small the guys told me what a grind this would be and uh i mean i wasn't scared of the challenge just because i'm used to muskies i'm used to just wanting that one bite so i mean this is my first real time lake trout fishing and i am fully addicted so much fun i mean 
We didn't even catch one and I had a blast. I'm looking forward to keep targeting these things because they are mean. I mean, look at the bait I'm using. Guys, I'm using a giant tube. I mean, that's just, this is musky fishing. This is musky fishing through the ice, basically. It's just so eerily similar. I don't know. It's getting to the end of the day here. I don't know. Either way, I learned a lot today. Totally new thing to me, so you know what? It is what it is. If we don't catch one, we don't catch one. I don't know. There's still some time left. Hopefully some magic will happen. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up today's video. Unfortunately, could not make it happen. No lake trout, but guys, just a reminder, we have got the Milwaukee Muskie Expo coming up this weekend, and also the weekend after that, the Madison Fishing Expo. Lee and I are giving a seminar that Friday, so please come in and uh, visit us at those events. Sorry for the lame video, but hey, that's the nature of this game for lake trout. They're not easy. Uh, very few to come by so hey first time out here doing it so it was definitely alert alert name, okay so, sorry Andrew okay oh, <laughs> <laughs> we had a bite had a couple bites but no hookups no trout on the ice but hey that's all right that's how it goes that's fishing everybody has those days so guys thank you so much for watching this today's video Milwaukee Muskie Expo. Also, Andrew Logan's channel. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe to his channel. Um, also, if you guys want to get out with Andrew and Colin, I'll leave their links in below also. So, I think that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.